Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about the shunt type clippers. Here, there are two types of shunt type clippers available. One is clipping above the reference level and clipping below the reference level. So before going into the shunt type clippers, let me explain what do you mean by clipping action and how the signal is going to be appeared after clipping action. So first one clipper. So I told you already clipper is made up of a diode. So it consists of a diode and a resistor and a reference voltage reference voltage i told you in the last video there are three different configurations available one is the clipping action can be done by using a diode resistor and a reference voltage another thing is another configuration is multiple diodes resistors and reference voltages and the third configuration is emitter coupled clipping action that means two transistors are being used and the emitters are being coupled and that configuration is used as a differential configuration differential output we are taking the across the transistor collectors okay these are the general three configurations available here i am going to explain the first type of configuration where it consists of a single diode resistor and a reference voltage now suppose if the input is a sinusoidal signal if the input is a sinusoidal signal this is the time axis and this is the voltage okay so for this type of signal if you want to clip this particular amplitude a pause to peak then the output signal will be like this so pause Pause to peak is clipped and only negative peak is there. This is the voltage. Okay. So this type of the circuit which converts the waveform into this one to this one is known as clipper. So pause to peak is completely eliminated here. Suppose I don't want to eliminate the complete pause to peak. I want to eliminate a part of the pause to peak. Then the same signal I am taking now I am taking a reference supply that reference supply is known as VR I want to clip above the reference supply and keeping the remaining signal as it is then the signal will be appear like this see here what is the difference between the input signal and output signal here also we are using a circuit with the reference voltage and this is the input signal this is the output signal the input signal is having a continuous sinusoidal signal but the output is the elimination or part of the signal that is being eliminated in the input so this part is going to be eliminated hope you understand how the clipper is acted okay so not only this the same action is going to be appeared in the uh, negative side also negative peak going to be clipped or entirely or half of the part of the signal going to be appeared okay so this type of action is generally referred to as clipper the circuit which performs this type of action is known as clipper okay what are the other names of clippers so by seeing this particular action you can tell me what are the other names so what other names are nothing but voltage limiter slicer or so what else we can call it as amplitude selectors okay voltage limiters amplitude selectors or slicers so i will write here other names of clippers are voltage limiters slicers and we can say amplitude selectors amplitude selectors this is what the clipper and the clipping action and the other names of clippers now there are two types of there are two types of clippers 
वन इज शंट टाइप शंट टाइप क्लिपर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सीरीज टाइप क्लिपर सीरीज टाइप क्लिपर शंट टाइप क्लिपर एंड सीरीज टाइप क्लिपर हाउ कैन यू डिस्टिंग्विश दीज टू क्लिपर्स how can you distinguish these two clippers how can you say that the clipper is a shunt type clipper and how can you say that the clipper is a series type clipper the name is completely given by that particular clipper depending on the diode how it is connected in the circuit if the uh, diode I, I, what i told you there are three different components we are using diode resistor and a reference voltage if the diode is in shunt with the output voltage then that particular configuration is known as shunt type clipper if the diode is in series with the output voltage then that configuration is known as series type configuration hope you understand it is completely based on the construction of the diode and the circuit if the diode is in shunt with the output voltage diode is in shunt with the output voltage then that type of circuit is known as shunt type clipper otherwise it is series type okay now let us start the shunt type clipper first one shunt type clipper so shunt type clipper first we have a resistor and then a diode in the forward bias recognition forward bias means like this and a reference voltage vr as i told you these are the three primary components to design a clipper across which we are taking the output hope you understand why it is known as shunt type clipper this is the input voltage so this is resistor r diode d and this is the reference voltage we are reference voltage we are having positive here and negative here okay now as the diode is connected across the output voltage we can call this particular configuration as shunt type clipper okay now how can you explain the operation of this particular shunt type clipper okay see everything we are comparing with respect to the diode whether the diode is in on state or off state if the diode is in on state can you tell me what happens if the diode is in on state it acts as a short circuit and then output is equal to vr only if the diode is in on state output is equal to vr if the diode is in off state off state means here here it is open circuit then output is equal to input okay so we can say like this if diode d is uh, sorry instead of this way we can better take consider reference voltage and input voltage comparison see if input voltage v in is greater than v r what happens if input voltage v in is less than v r what happens these are the two conditions we should assume if input voltage is see assume that here we are having a resistor and up to this point we will be having input voltage okay now input voltage and v r the diode comes into on state or off state by comparing either of these two voltages v in and v r okay these are two possible conditions there are two possible conditions one is either v in greater than vr or v in less than vr let us assume the condition when v input is greater than vr what happens when v in is greater than vr what is that v input that means the anode potential is more compared to the cathode potential what about the diode state now diode is in on state so diode d is said to be in on state then we can draw the circuit like this it is on state so a short circuit on means it is simply acting as a short circuit i told you already the characteristics in the previous video according to that i am saying now 
this is the output now can you tell me what is the output voltage this is the input this is the resistor and diode now it is in on state and it is vr so voltages are same in parallel so vr is equal to v out so v out is equal to vr output voltage is completely equal to the reference voltage in this condition the changes in the input will not be appeared in the output when the input voltage is greater than vr whatever may be the input signal that is simply discarded and only we will be having vr at the out now assume the another condition v in is less than vr v in is less than vr you can say now diode is in off state because the anode anode voltage is less compared to the cathode voltage so diode is in off state so what is the circuit now circuit simply replaced by a open circuited diode and what about the vr now vr is simply open circuited this is v out this is v in and this is r diode is simply open circuited as the diode is open circuited vr is also open circuited the current produced by this one cannot be flowing through the circuit simply it is open circuited so vr is also not there in the circuit so the input current simply flows through the resistor and this one and v output so we can say output voltage is equal to input voltage in this condition output voltage is equal to input voltage so keep this point in mind the diode clipping actions are completely depending upon the action of the diode whether it is in on state or off state so depending upon the position of the diode whether it is a forward bias or reverse bias so that the output is going to be yielded okay now let me explain the same operation with respect to the transfer characteristics so that you can understand what will be the output uh, uh, signal through that so transfer characteristics transfer characteristics of this particular clipper So transfer characteristics means first you need to draw input versus output waveform. This is input, this is output waveform. Along with that, you need to draw the input waveform here. This is the input waveform. Okay now see in this input voltage in the input axis on this axis we will be having at somewhere the vr again on the output axis somewhere we will be having vr suppose the reference voltage may be 2 volts or 1 volt that 1 volt may be definitely on the axis for v in and as well as v out and the same vr is going to be marked on the input signal that is vr here that means from 0 to this particular vr this is vr now what is the condition here see when input voltage is greater than vr when input voltage is greater than vr output is equal to vr when input voltage is less than vr output is equal to v in okay see here second condition when input voltage is less than vr output is equal to v in see input axis is this one input axis is this one input voltage is less than vr means up to this point up to this point so output is equal to input so up to this point we will be having a transfer characteristics with a slope one because output is equal to input the slope is equal to 1 we can say slope is equal to 1 output is equal to input so output by input is equal to what 1 slope is equal to 1 what happens when input is greater than vr input is greater than vr output is equal to vr so input is equal to <coughs> here vr after that output is equal to vr vr means this one so output is equal to vr 
hope you understand how i have drawn the transfer characteristics now mark the clipping region and <coughs> transmission region so this is transmission region transmission region and what about this one this is clipping region clipping region so above this particular vr whatever the amplitude you are having suppose it, it may be 10 volts or 20 volts that is entirely clipped and what is the output output waveform now so time output voltage see here input output signal is clipped up to this particular part and remaining is as it is because output is equal to input signal this is the output then what is the amplitude up to here it is vr okay this is the output signal with a clipped portion of the input okay okay hope you understand see in the transfer characteristics what i have drawn first one is the transfer curve which is nothing but input versus output below that we have taken the input signal and side we have taken the output signal so first of all whatever may be the clipper first you need to draw the reference voltage whether it is one reference voltage two reference voltage how many reference voltages are present in the circuit those many you should be represented in this particular graph so first you need to take this one after that before that we have already seen the action what happens when input is greater than vr and what happens when input is less than vr according to that you need to draw the slope only possibility is two things one is slope is one or another one is slope is zero here slope is equal to zero for the input is greater than vr condition and the another one is slope is one slope is one means that axis y is equal to mx signal that goes or through the origin okay so it is going like this whenever it crosses the vr it will be like this now can you name this signal can you name this particular uh, uh, clipper what i told you shunt type clipper again there will be two types of shunt type clippers one is clipping clipping above reference axis or reference voltage and the second one is clipping below reference voltage now according to the output waveform shape tell me what type of clipper it is is it a clipping above reference voltage or clipping below reference voltage where it is clipped this is reference voltage okay the above part is clipper so the name of this particular clipper is clipping above reference voltage hope you understand why and how we have named it as clipping above reference voltage <clears throat> clear in the next video i will explain the second part clipping below reference voltage and what could be the change that we encounter in the circuit diagram and what are the transfer characteristics and operation of the particular circuit we will see in the next video thank you